What's up guys, it's Team Park with Respect if you're back with another video. Today, we will be reviewing the Jersey Devil Coaster that opened in 2021. This is a new, a new-ish OMC Raptor. So let's take a trip into the Pine Barrens and review the Jersey Devil Coaster. 5, 4, 3, 2, let's get it! Yeah! The Jersey Devil Coaster is the first and only OMC Raptor I've written, but yet did this deliver. First of all, I want to say that since the rides are running much better in 2022, I'm going to be saying my 2022 thoughts. But without all that out of the way, let's get into stats. This ride has a height of 130 feet, a top speed of 58 miles per hour, 3 inversions, a track length of 3,000 feet and the drop angle of 87 degrees. But let me tell you that this is one of the moments when stats don't do this ride justice. Because it feels faster than it actually is. This ride is going 58 miles per hour, but it feels like it's going 60. And they turned up the mid course off so you fly, absolutely fly, through the last couple of hills. But now, let's get into the layout. This ride has a moving loading station, so you have to get on quickly. But after that, you go up this 130 foot tall lift hill that feels as fast as maybe Skyward should lift. And my, is this lift hill loud, just like any other OMC. And then you go down a 87 degree drop. And may I say, in the back of an office drop, it feels like you get death ejected the real time. In the front you just get flow checked out, but it's still awesome because you dangle over the front of the drop. After the drop comes, comes you go into a raven dive which looks more like a dive loop but the park calls it a raven dive so. Well it is extremely whippy in the front but in the back the pull over it is insane. I would say this element is one of the best on the ride. After the Raven Dive, you go into a crazy ejector hill. This, that isn't a, it isn't as crazy as the ones on El Toro, but you still get a decent amount of airtime. Also, I just want to say that I hate, like, literally hate the profiling on this hill, because you, like, take, you take a slight left then a quick right into the hill after that you go into a zero g star that offers the best hang time in the park also this is very intense because you like violently whip into and out of this in this star after that you go into a turnaround which is the best element on the ride because it's super w intense and whippy i can't believe i'm saying whippy like so much like seriously guys but after that, you go into a zero G war that doesn't really do anything, it's just there, I guess. Yeah. Um, after that comes the infamous mid course break on Boo. But they turned it off, so. Which is awesome because. Off the mid course, you get airtime in the back. After the mid course, you go into the. the this definite gray out turn that only makes me gray out when I'm not hydrated. After that, you go into off-axis hills which give great flow to air time. And in the back, you get yanked over these, like violent, violently yanked. Then comes the final bunny hop into the break one. I just like every single element on this. So, you guys need to get out of here to ride it. And for Jersey Devil's final score, I'm giving it a 9.5. I think this ride is amazing besides having suckish response. Because I forgot to say that when this first opened, it gave me leg cramps because of the restraints. And the way, like, your legs are. 
ride it and you'll find out what I mean. But other than that, this ride is absolutely amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm Team Park Retrospective, and I'm out. Goodbye, guys.